Let's see. Uh, look, man, I've got to ask you both a question. Would you rather have the West Ham attack or the Spurs attack right now? Because you've got West Ham with Kudus, Bowen and, well, I mean, I, I can't believe that West Ham have still not got a striker that's half decent, to be fair. They're still playing Antonio, which is a joke, in my opinion, in 2024. They have got full crook, but I don't think he's done much, if I'm honest. Or you've got Son, uh, Brennan Johnson and Solanke, which is, I think, what Spurs have been playing. It's what well, no matter which you go with, and Shaq can get involved in this as well. It's quite it's quite close, I would say. I would say it's would, fairly close. Yeah, Bowen starts at Tottenham. Um, I rate Kudas higher than I rate someone like a Kulisevsky. I rate Kudas higher than um than Werner. I rate Kudas higher than pretty much every attacker we have, apart from apart from Solanke and Sun. So could if we're if we're talking Kudus and Bowen, yeah, I think they're 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 better than most of our attackers, right? If I'm talking Somerville, if Somerville is going to be used in rotation, I don't know how how they're going to make it work. Whether he's going to be a starter, whether he's going to be a rotation piece, but I'm taking Somerville over over Werner every day of the week, and I'm probably taking Somerville as a wide option over Richarlison. Richarlison for me is a striker. However, I'm not taking Antonio. He's dog shit. Sorry, Richarlison will score more goals than him. And I actually think Richarlison will score more goals than Danny Ings. I think Richarlison will score more goals than Fulcrook. I think Solanke will score more goals than Fulcrook. I think Son will score more goals than anyone in their team, even Jared Bowen. So, yeah, I don't think it's as clear-cut as saying, yeah, I would take their attack over ours. I, would, I wouldn't take their attack over us because there's still at least three stinky players in that attack that I wouldn't want. And I'm sure Lawless would say the same about Tottenham. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, I think overall, like, if we're just doing a numbers thing, I think we edge it on numbers. Like, like if you if you compared our best front three to theirs, I think we would edge it. You know what I mean? Like, in terms right. of what I would take, like, no, so I think, and I'll tell you what, your, one of the what's reasons. Your front, what's your best front three? Okay, so I still go with Kudus, Bowen, Paqueta, and that was the front three last season. Okay. That was tearing it up when they and played. Last, the season, last season, Sun scored 17 Premier League goals and, got, it, ten, but, and got, ten, okay, got, but, got 10 assists playing up top and playing off the left. So, okay, but let say, me explain why I would have them over Sun because of Sun's. If you're asking who I would have, not who's ultimately the better, but who I would have, Sun is because of his age, right? He hasn't got necessarily age on his side. Yeah, so the question isn't about who you'd have. We're talking about it's who I would team. have. It's who I would have. No, the if you is, was who, over the... Who's got the better attack right now? No, no, no. It was who you would you have the West Ham attack or the Spurs attack? Yeah, if we was gonna I'm, swap, I don't even know why I'm sugarcoating it. You would still have Sun. Sun is Sun is the Sun is the best finisher of any player in this front line. Yes. Okay. But. But well, I don't know. Bowen's up there, but this is what I'm saying. Oh, the, even, when you think about even, it, don't even, <laughs> don't even, and, and I rate you know how much I rate Jared Bowen. I think he's cold. I think he's a quality player. Don't talk about Bowen's finishing in comparisons to Son. Bowen is a good finisher. Son is one of the best finishers we've seen in this league. Full stop. So don't even go there, please. Don't. Yeah, don't okay, but, go, but, please. Well, we've got. I'm saying we've got way up the pros and cons. Is it fair to say? Because, like, if I was to do a combined 11, I actually would go with Bo Bowen, Kudus, and Son, and I'd put Son up top. That's what I would do. So you wouldn't play think... Solanke? That's crazy to I don't... me. No, nah, that's, that's crazy I, I think, to me. as much as I think Solanke... That's got crazy the, to me. He's got the chance... Do we, do we not I think, think that... I think Son is a better finisher than Solanke. He is a better, yeah. option, Solanke, Solanke, he is a better finisher, but Solanke is a better overall centre-forward. Son, 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 son is a son for me. He's at an he's at a stage in his career where he's still a killer in the box. So you want to keep him in the box, right? I'd have son but, over Solanke. But the the problem is, I wouldn't have son in the middle over Solanke, and that's coming from Tottenham fan. The problem with that is, son can be rendered null and void in several games if you put him through the middle. There's a certain way that teams play. If they play that way. He, he's done. And when it comes to giving defenders hell, he can't do it anywhere near the standard that Solanke so can. You would have you would have Bowen, Kudus, and Solanke. I'm having no, I'm having I'm having Bowen, Solanke, and Son. 
and I put I play some close to I play some close to Kudus uh, shout. I would actually move Kudus. I'd put Kudus. Try him in the eight. Like I love. I, you know how much I like Kulisevsky. I really like Kulisevsky, but I think Kudus is better than Kulisevsky. I would try and put Kudus and play him with Madison in the midfield, and I'd play. I'd play one of our guys in the six. That's what I would do. Lawless, what would you do in a front three? I, I would, I'm going to stick with it. I would go Son up through the middle and Bowen and Kudus, but uh, Tobes is going with Son on the left. And no. then, uh, I would rather, I would rather go Son on the left, Bowen up top, Kudus on the right. That's what I would rather do if I was playing them. Because well, the same front I think three then, but a different way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think Son is better on the left than any of those two for sure. He's more natural on the left. Kudus, you know what I mean? He's playing on the left, but he's not natural there. And I think Bowen, um, yeah, he can work up top. It's like, it's like a fluid front three that works. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I would work. And in the midfield, yeah. you're, gonna, you're going Alvarez, Kudusevsky, Madison. Or are you putting Paqueta in there? Um, yeah, I think I'll, just for now, I'll inform, yeah, I would do that. Alvarez, Kudusevsky, Madison, yeah. So. That's best. That's what I would do. Yeah. Because yeah. Spurs ain't even got yeah, but, like, the holding midfielder at Spurs thing is weird at the moment. I don't know what's going on. There's no Saad, there's no Basuma. They seem to be on the bench coming on. Ben yeah, because, Sankara, he, he don't because, because, because Basuma got in. Basuma was suspended the first game. Pentacle started. He came back game. He had a fantastic game against Everton. Then he had a good game against Newcastle. We lost that game, so it, 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 no one speaks on it. But he had a good game against Newcastle. Then he got injured. Then he got injured and missed a couple of games. And since then, we've had the rotation where Benton Core, because he's been playing the games, he's had momentum. He's been starting the league games. Then because we've got the midweek games, Basuma's been starting the cup games. I'm very much expecting Basuma to come back into the team um, on this this weekend. I feel like it's the right time. For me personally, I want him to be starting over Benton Core because I think in that number six position, he is better than Benton Core. Um, I just, for me... I know me and Lawless did the combined 11 and to be honest, I, just out of pity, I just thought, you know what, let me just give you some players. But there's absolutely no way on earth any team who wants to be progressive is going to play Alvarez in the six over Basuma. Sorry. There's absolutely Alvarez is probably one of my... He's been good, Wait. Alvarez. There's no... Lord, Potts, be serious. If He's so underrated. Asking, if you are... It's not about him being underrated. I'm not calling him a bad player. Right, I think Alvarez. I think Alvarez has got his uses. I think he's a. I think he's a decent. He's a decent midfielder, right? But Alvarez. I think what you say he's been more consistent than Basuma. He's been all over the place, Basuma. Yeah, I think, I think last season. I think Basuma. I think Basuma's highs smashes Alvarez's highs out of the park. But I think where Alvarez probably Alvarez gave, didn't have any lows. Yeah, he had no lows. What I was about season. to say that's what I'm about to say. Alvarez is probably giving West Ham like a six point five out of ten, maybe, but. You'd probably prefer a six point five out of ten over the course of a season than a okay. You give me an eight out of ten for for three months, and then you give me a, a, a four out of ten for 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 the next five months, right? That's one what, of our most important players. That means nothing to me. You're not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Really? Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Oh, you're not good. The guy. The We're guy not good. The, the, the guy can't pass. He's not athletic. He's a decent player. Like you're talking him up to be some player that he isn't. He's a decent player. He's not. If Alvarez, listen, Alvarez cannot mix it with the big boys. And I'm not even saying that Basuma can. I'm just saying Basuma clearly has more capability as a midfielder than Alvarez. He's a better dribbler. He's better. He's a better passer, right? And he's just as good defensively. So I don't really understand this point we're making here. Would you? Would listen, you? Listen, how I see If that. you had money, if you had money, right? Because I personally, I, if I was doing combined 11s at the moment, I couldn't put Pesuma in there because I, I don't know where the guy's been. It's been like an injury suspension thing. But if I'm I was to buy if one, it wasn't form I would, I'm putting him in there. He's the best midfielder. You love the idea role. of Pesuma. You love the idea of Pesuma. Because I'm seen. not saying he's this elite <laughs> player. I know his flaws. I know his flaws. Pesuma, the biggest problem with Pesuma is consistency. But I'm still taking this version of Pesuma over Alvarez. Hmm. End of discussion. And if, you had, if you had money, if you had money, right, and you can only buy one of these players, would you buy Kulisevsky or Paqueta? 
Uh, this is a tough one because it depends. If you're telling me Kulusevski on the right wing versus Paqueta in midfield, it's an easy answer, Paqueta. If you're telling me Kulusevski in the midfield versus Paqueta, then let's have a conversation because you know my stance on Paqueta. You know my stance on Paqueta. You know my stance on Kulusevski. I've been telling people since last season, Kulu has to be a central option permanently. He this wing team, I agree. this system, I think he's been work. quality, man. It doesn't work. And Paqueta, I've been saying it. It's, this isn't new. Even when he was playing well, I said, Paqueta is a good player, right? He's a good player. He's got visible quality. But the, prob the problem I have with people's analysis of Paqueta is he does not get the scrutiny that players at Tottenham or Arsenal or Man City or Liverpool, he doesn't get that level of scrutiny. When he when he doesn't he does play from well, West Ham fans. when he doesn't play well, they hide behind the fact that oh he's playing at West Ham, he's playing in a system that doesn't suit his strengths. I'm sick of that. Cream always rises to the top. End of discussion. If you are if you are if you are a if you're a driller, you're a driller. Whether you're playing in a shitty system, whether you're playing in a good system, cream always rises to the top. It's simple. Right? Because I ain't I ain't seen I ain't seen Jared Jared Bowen. Jared Bowen has got a cooking. For West Ham, no matter what system they're playing, no matter what system they're playing, he's got it. I've got, to, I've got to admit, I think I but, think Kulusevski has been quality this season. But in that position, in that position, he has been much better. I never liked him on the right anyway. People were saying he's better than Saka. I just thought it was laughable. And in the middle, I think he's been good and found his place. Paqueta, I I don't know. I haven't seen much from him for a while. In listen, we, we we have you know yeah, because we have to talk. We know we have to talk about this year. The no, guy has been I, going I, under stress. <laughs> Before I go on, before I let you come in, sorry, apologies, I'm talking a lot. If I had to be, if I'm being honest, I do, I, I, I would probably lean, lean towards Paqueta in the midfield option out of the two. But I just want it known that like, Paqueta's not pulling up trees in the West Ham midfield. He's not pulling up trees. So it doesn't have to take someone like Kulisewski. All Kulisewski has to do is have, is continuing the way he's continuing this season. And I can actually come with evidence and say, yep, I think he's had a season probably better than any season I've seen from Paqueta in a West Ham shirt. Yes Listen, or no? Yeah, like I said, we, 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 yeah, but we have to talk about this year because Paqueta, what Paqueta is going through, yeah, is immensely stressful. These these scumbags are trying to take his life away, trying to take away his livelihood, yeah, and they're trying to do all sorts of underhanded tactics to do it. Do you realise how stressful, like, it, you expect this guy to have his mind Fully on footballs. Come Pots, on, Pots. come Let on. Me tell you this. Let me tell you this. So this guy, this guy, this guy plays. But first, it was oh, first they first they said oh, it's his first season and he's playing on the Moyes ball. The team's been disjointed. It's not his fault. Do you remember when we were doing the shows? And he was stinking at the joint for months. And when he started to. When he finally started playing well towards the end of the season, this guy came out of the woodwork. You see, you see, he needed time. So that was the first season. The second season, they said, oh, Paqueta started the season much better. He's playing better football. And then the form dips. Nowhere to be seen for a good six, seven months. And the excuse is, oh, he's got a case over his head. They're not letting him focus on the football. We're not, allowed, we're not, we're not counting that case then. Is that, that not acceptable? That is that not reasonable? Season. Now it's the third season. He's not had a good start to the season. Whenever I watch this guy for Brazil, he looks distinctly average. He does not play well for Brazil. Whenever I watch them, he doesn't play well for Brazil. So you're not playing. You're not playing consistently well for West Ham. You don't play well for Brazil. You do these little flicks and tricks. You'll have maybe one good game in five. But yet, I'm meant to say this is the cream of the crop in the, in the Premier League. This is the guy that I think can go to Man City and carry the keys. Sorry, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. He's no, a player. you're not. Let's call it. Let's call it. You, you're, not, you're not having it. You're not okay. You're not having that. He's going through hell right now, and his mind probably ain't fully on football. Fault. You're not having that. We don't we know that. That allegedly, allegedly. He's going through hell. Did he think about that when he was placing these fucking bets? It's we are allegedly, 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 allegedly. Don't let me get his lawyer coming after you. Allegedly, wait. Hey, I'm I'm sending this to his lawyer, mate. I'm sending this to get his lawyer, yeah. Because you can't say that. You can't say that he did that, right? They, they, what they are doing? Man wants us to. Man wants us to have sympathy for a man who's been accused of betting. Like, like, accused, accused. Like, pot. Are you deep? Are you deep in this? Yeah. 
It's, 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 it's not even like he's going through any like clutching, marital bro. problems or he's yeah. lost uh, uh, um, he's lost someone close to his family. He's literally no. an all excuse for him not being able to play well is because he's distracted by his court case where he's been found to have allegedly been putting down football bets on himself. No, 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 no. Let's have this right. He, The accusation isn't that he's been putting down bets. It's that his family members put down the bets. And the winnings ain't even that much when you look at it. Like, none of it makes sense. When you realise it, the case, he's going to he's gonna bust this case easy. Oh, yeah, he's oh, getting off. And when he does, I want I want a, I want an apology special for you from you. Yeah, I'm gonna get you on my channel, and you're gonna give an apology to Lucas Paqueta because that is outrageous. Him, I'll give him. I'll give. I will absolutely give him an apology. Right. I'll give him an apology if he's found not guilty. Right. Which he will. He will. Let's That's see. Fair. Let's That's see. Fair, man. Let's see. Let's see. I'm telling you, they're trying to do underhanded tactics to try and get him to get him. So they they're scrambling. Yeah, they're desperate. They know their tactics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, do you know what? They they're leaking shit. Do you not see oh, this? This latest news. Oh, so they're leaking so, shit. So, so now, oh, we're, now it's the FA. Now it's the FA have got a vendetta against against Paqueta. They want they 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 want him done. No, do you know why? Because they have to justify. They have to be. They've brought this case against him. They can't lose because they're going to look stupid, and then they're going to be in a situation where they could get count. They could get sued for for all of the stress. And potential loss of earnings and all sorts of stuff that they've put on him, yeah. So they know they have to win, and now they're leaking information about the case. They're putting that out there to underhand, undermine his defence. They know what they're doing, and then they've done that foolishness with the phone. So, watch, just watch this space. Mark my words. Remember this video. He's 